the 18th of June at 5 to 4 in the afternoon. I've just uploaded three more diary entries in my new setup behind me, which makes it a lot easier now and a lot quicker. Um, I've had a little move around, I've had a little tidy up as well. So now I've got more space, oh, well, I've got space in the middle of the living room, which I've never had since I moved in. I always cluttered it up. The boys are happy, they've got grass on tap because I've got one on, two off. So two pots are growing in the bathroom while they're chewing on one. And then every other day I alternate it. Um, still minus four on the mental health front. Sorry, I've not had a shave. I've been busy doing things around the house. Um, what else have I done? It does look like Waltham Forest Council only allow so much scrutiny because they will answer certain questions when you ask them but they won't answer all the questions and then when you ask them again they treat you as vexatious I've had to email Keir Starmer, Sir Keir Starmer, sorry sir to complain about my two councillors because they have done nothing for me in 15 weeks they haven't even, they've broken their promises they were going to contact me and I would like to know why I'm being treated like this. I've even emailed um, the Chief Exec of Wolfham Forest again this morning at about 2am because it's bugging me. And it's like, like I keep saying in these videos, councils have the power to do anything they want, even ignore you if they want. And that's because there's no one that can do anything about it. I've got some solicitor's letters I need to sit down this is part of the reason I've got the desk, so I could deal with writing that. Because I've got a nice light now, I can write. It will take me a while, but I will do a little bit each day. And hopefully Sunday, Monday, I might post it. It'll have to be Sunday, because Lita's down here at the weekend. Hopefully Lita's down here at the weekend. Because then she'll get me out of here. It is horrible being stuck in the flat for 15 weeks and not having anyone to sort of like go out with or even just go out. I am still terrified of my neighbours. If you explain to people, there seems to be no logical reason. But I am. Because I'm by myself and they're not. And they've easily got enough people to do damage to me. And this is what the people don't get. Um, Alfred came round yesterday, day before yesterday. <sighs> yeah, Tuesday I've been, wouldn't it? And I get the impression they think I'm just a troublemaker because they mentioned that I had the same problem over in Barkin and Dagnum. And yes, I did have the same problem as I've got now in Bark and Dagenham. But that's not to say it's in my mind. It could just be, and I quite think so now, that it's... It's a council endemic problem. Because there's no... No one can tell the councils. Even the MPs can't really tell the councils what to do. This is why you have councillors, and if you've got ineffective councillors, then they get away with anything. Councillors do have power. I know they do. I mean, I've done politics, I've been political for years now, ever since I used to help my dad with these problems with the DHSS, and etc, etc. I used to help him with his letters, and go to meetings with him. And I was only like 12, 13 at the time. So yes, I've been political most of my life. And I've studied politics. And I actually work for about six or seven councils. So I know that if a councillor comes in and says, do this, you don't argue, you get it done. 
because at the end of the day it's the councillors that sign off the cheques. Funding is funded via the councillors. Councillors have a budget as well. This is a little thing that people don't realise. Councillors have their own budget as well and they can use that for special projects. Pardon me, the building work started up last week so it's all a bit bang, bang, bang. Um, I finally forced myself to do some laundry today. So that's, is it three loads I've done today? Two loads. Yeah. So that should be, uh, grey and white sheets are coming clean now. I put bleach in with them this morning to try and, because I put something red in with them. It's gone, all, it went all over the grey and white. It's come almost clear now. So if you put bleach in and wash it on a hot wash, it does come out eventually. That's the third wash now to try and clear it out. Um, I don't think, excuse me, I don't think this is going to be a long one. Um, moved the speakers. I finally moved the speakers. Velcroed onto the wall. I bought Velcro yesterday. It came today. And the whole length of the speaker, about that much Velcro. On this, on the left hand side, it went easy. Bang, 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 done. First go. This one, for some strange reason, I don't know if it's I'm um, looking at it a bit funny. It took three attempts. So that's three bits of Velcro I'd throw away because it took the paint off on two of them. So I've had to, is it, uh, yeah, I've had to repaint down the side. You can't see that, but I can see it from here. But it's better than it was because before it was sort of like gray with great big white patch. But now once you're sitting down, you don't see it. It is actually behind the speaker. It's only when you're here, you can see it. Uh, that's, that's, excuse me. That's not Windows XP, by the way. That's Kubuntu. It's a Windows XP lock screen. But I use Kubuntu to um, edit these videos. I've just uploaded. It is so much quicker than it is under Windows with VSDC or wherever I was using. VDSE. Um, so much quicker. I can edit a video in 10 minutes now, whereas on the other system, under Windows, it would take half an hour to 40 minutes. It just seems more clunky. I've got it dual booting into Windows 10. And it's so much, I've got Caden Live, the video editor, running in Windows 10. It's horrible. It crashes, it doesn't it feel as responsive. So I've put KDE, Ubuntu on. It works so much better. I'm in Ubuntu most of the time now. I only go into Windows when I need to use Office more than anything else. Um, if I can get Wine to run Office, then that would be good. But it's the latest version of Office and it's not quite up there yet. So, I've just waited. Oh, excuse me. It's been a tiring week because I've had screaming kids outside my window all day, which puts me nerves on edge. I don't mind kids playing, but they're not even from my block and they're sitting outside my windows. I finally got through to them yesterday. I had a word with them. Twice now I've said you're not from my block. Why are you sitting outside my window? But it seems to have moved them on. Admittedly it was raining this morning and it's only just cleared up now. But I've not had any kids since I told them yesterday. Building work, you know, has to be done. I can put up with it. It can be a bit blooming annoying. But not as annoying as screaming high-pitched children's voices. It's that squeaky sort of nails on the blackboard thing for me. And to think, I was Santa Claus last Christmas. God dear. <laughs> the Yankee Santa I called myself. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to chill for a bit. Um, we've got the coronavirus thing coming up in about an hour. We had 200 
Oh, we had 240 dead ish yesterday. I keep watching for that curve at the end of the line because it's funny how they don't, as the coronavirus progresses, they just keep adding to the graph. They don't move the graph along. So you're getting the, so the end bit is scaled down in effect. So to see a rise in numbers, if you don't scale it up, it could be like two, three, four hundred before you even start seeing a rise. At the moment, the politicians are avoiding saying, well, it's still a downward trend. I don't think it's a downward trend. On a seven day rolling average, I don't think it's a seven. I don't think it's a downward trend. But it's weird having a living room, changing the subject totally, sorry about this. It's weird having a living room with a gap in the middle and small side tables. But the boys seem to like it. They've got room. Mm, They've got room to play. Which was my intentions because they were running around. And they had to stop because there was a big table in the middle. Now they can run to their heart's content and they get all the exercise they want. Hello, Caspi. That's the only drawback with being here. You don't see the cats. They're just mulling around my feet. Merlin's over there on your chair. Caspi's just flopped down in front of me. And Tabs is sitting behind the bedroom door. Strange child. Anyway, my clock's working. Self-built. Sobering skills are pretty good now. They were pretty good before. But it's just I've not practised in 35 odd years. And it does, yeah, I can see the point of why you have different soldering points, different soldering tips. I've got a set of five, and I'm constantly changing them, depending on, like, I've got um, surface mount, SMD, surface mount something rubber. And you need a fine point for that to, you know, complete it. Whereas with this project I didn't really need a conical point I just had a chisel tip and that works fine for me for most times I'm still playing about with the temperature though not too sure about the temperature I might have a little play in a moment see if I can get that working then tomorrow I'm not going to do the shoe cabinet thing today tomorrow I'm going to do the shoe cabinet and then try and get that returned hopefully Sakir Starmer will reply to me sometime next week fingers crossed because something needs to be done i'm sorry but i haven't done anything wrong and no one's saying anything to me i even emailed the chief exec and he's fucking oh, excuse me he's ignored me there i am anyway now i look at this wall poster from over here it looks like it's <laughs> But I know it isn't, because I set it up with a spirit level. That's an idea. I need to find that spirit level. There goes, um... Oh, God, it's been so long, can't even remember his name. Derek. Derek. Yeah. It's good to see him. He's got gloves and that on. I don't know if he's going around doing some cleaning or volunteering. But good to see him walking around. Hopefully come Saturday, I'll be out there sometime. Oh, hopefully I'll get a restful night and I'll get some sleep tonight. I've had a shower, not had a shave yet. I'm going to sort my rubbish out for tonight. I think I'll put all cardboard in bags and that. Should be two bags, I think. And I'll put that out tonight. Since I can't get out to throw the rubbish away myself, I'm not going to put it in the flat. So I'll do that tonight. Thankfully I've only used one actual bag. There's another one coming out, so it's two actual bags of rubbish. The rest of it is just cardboard. Because me and the boys don't make much mess normally. But if we are, if me and Lita are going shopping at the weekend, I must remember to get some decent blooming bags. Because the ones I've got are thin as paper, they really are. And I do have a tendency to overfill stuff. I've even got boxes in the bottom of the bag, on the bottom of the kitchen bin, 
so I don't fill the bag all the way up. So I just have to gently lift it, and there should be room at the top to tie it. But I overfill it still. Anyway, I think that will do for today's one. There's not much else going on. Like I said, I'm going to relax, try and catch up on some sleep, because I've had no sleep virtually for about three weeks now, because my nerves have been on edge because of the screaming children sitting outside the wall, which no one seems to want to do about it. And I emailed MASH yesterday, they replied back, and I emailed them back, and they haven't replied back. So, like I say, the council don't want to answer questions, they just want to tell you what to do. They told me to call the police doesn't seem right to call the police about kids misbehaving. I asked them about creating a nuisance, which is my problem. They are creating a nuisance. And they never answered me on that, or what regular supervision means. Regular? Once a year? Once a minute? What's regular? Can't to have an answer me on that one. This is why I... This is why I get frustrated, because when I ask a question, I expect the question to be answered, not ignored. And I get very frustrated when people ignore questions. It's like they're trying to hide something. What are you trying to hide, Waltham Forest Borough Council? Anyway, mustn't grumble, as a former cleaning manager of used to say to me all the time, before she'd stand there for 15 minutes having a moan about things. Mustn't grumble. Grace, I think her name was. Oh, she was a trooper. She had a face like the surface of the moon, about as many teeth as me Aunt Nell's dog Poodle, about three, and she'd stand like that far away from you and talk, she'd shout at you and spit in your face while she's talking to you. And it was blah, 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 15 minutes. Oh, mustn't grumble, must move on. <laughs> you must get on. <laughs> uh, she'll be dead a long time now, Grace, I reckon. She was fairly old when I knew her. And that was 25 years ago. I mean, she might be alive. I don't know where her last name was. Best move on, I suppose. So... See, 15 minutes, that's not a bad one. Before I carry on meandering off target, thank you, like, subscribe, don't like, leave me a comment, tell me where I'm going wrong, tell me what I'm doing good, tell me what I'm not doing good. I'm glad to see, see, I'm oh, closing down, I'm glad to see I'm not the only one meandering on these videos. Because I've watched another couple of YouTubers, boat tubers, as they call them, because they're narrow boat tubers. Up uh, Zena and Sasha. I'm waiting for Sasha's live stream. She's supposed to be having a live stream today. Oh, exciting, exciting stuff. Not sure when she holds her live streams though. And on my YouTube, some of these boat tubers are coming up as made for children, and then you can't get notifications. But I don't think they believe me because I've told them and they say no I didn't know there was a problem anyway love you and leave you thank you for watching till later goodbye